Hi, my name is April and I'm going to show you here how to paint a rose. I'm going to pick up some light color, which is like a warm white, and I've got a purple color here. And I'm picking up two, let's see, two thirds of the purple and one third of the white. Picking up a little bit of floating medium. That's going to allow the paint to glide on my surface. The colors I'm using are, are acrylic paints. This brand here contains hardly any water, which is what you want with this technique because you are double loading with a light and a dark color at the same time so that we can get a nice shading and blending all in one stroke. So I'm going to here, I'm going to just kind of wave the brush a little bit, always picking up paint. And I'm painting now just the outer skirt. And I'm just kind of waving the brush around, holding my brush handle straight up and down. Picking up more paint. Try not to get your colors muddy, meaning don't let your colors mix together. Okay, there's my outer petal or outer skirt. I'm going to go back and add another layer of petals here. Always picking up more paint. Now the floating medium, you want to just use every two to three strokes. You don't want to use too much of that. It will start getting uh, mixing your colors and making it muddy and you don't want that. Okay, so right here. So there's my inside layer of petals, and I'm just going to go back and add a few more little ones down below here. Picking up paint, making sure I have nice clean white, chisel, lean out a little bit, and then stand the brush up a little bit and end on your chisel. Okay. I'm going to now switch to a smaller size brush. This is a 12 flat. I'm going to pick up the same colors. One third white and two thirds of the purple. Really get the paint to go inside the brush. Picking up a little bit of that medium. And we'll add our inside bud. Chisel and bring it all across right here. And I'm going to add the front petal. So here, chisel. And I'm just going to bring that around. Okay. More paint. Right here. And I'm going to lean out a little bit and pull. More paint. Right here. Lean out. And pull right down here. And now I'm going to paint that little petal that's right. Let me pick up a little more white here. We'll chisel and lift up. I'm going to add the final petals right in here. Right over here. Lean out a little bit and pull across and the little petal right over here. Chisel, lean out a little bit, and then back on your chisel. Okay, there's the rose. I'm going to pick up my script liner. Pick up a little bit of gold. I'm just going to tap a, a few little gold dots in the center. And we can pick up a little bit of white to make that pop out a little more. Okay, tap, tap, tap. It's a long script liner here. 
Okay, now I'm going back to the big brush. Just going to wipe off the colors I used for the flower. And I'm going to switch now to my greens. So I'm going to pick up my dark green on the dark side of the brush, which has a little bit of purple in there, and the lighter shade. I'm going to blend, go back and forth. Make sure there's plenty of paint inside the brush. Pick up a little bit of the floating medium and go back and blend. I'm going to paint now here the leaves. And I'm starting right underneath that rose because I want it to look like it's coming from underneath and really rotating that brush. So right over here. And the same thing, rotate, rotate, and end on your chisel. Pull and create that little stem there. And let's do another one right over here with the dark green on the outside. I'm kind of going around that petal. Okay, really turning that brush end on your chisel. Pick up more paint and same thing go around that petal and pull out. Rotate that dark green and end on your chisel and try to connect the two. And I'm going to pull my stem right in there. I could add one more right up here so you get to see me do this one more time. Pick up more paint. So right here. Remember, just kind of wrap it around the bud or the, or the, the petal. And turn that brush. Since we want it to look like half of the leaf is showing, you really have to turn and rotate the outer part of the brush. And same thing right here, wrap it around that petal. And now, turn, 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 connect right up here. Slowly start to release pressure so you end on your chisel, and there you go, right there. And I'm going to pull my stem out from the center of the leaf. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my smaller brush, wipe it off, picking up my two greens, the dark and the light. A lot of paint inside the brush. I'm letting the brush sit down, put a lot of pressure so we want the paint to go inside. And I'm just going to paint some one stroke leaves right over here and that's just touch, push down a little bit and end on your chisel. Picking up more paint, okay. and stems. Here, here, right there. Let's add a few more. Maybe right over here. Always pick up, pick up a lot of paint. Can you see my brush handle straight up and down? And I slowly release pressure. So this technique is a lot of pressure and release and add my stem. I'm just kind of ice skating my brush so it creates that skinny, skinny little stem there. And I'm going to take my script liner and just do a few little curly cues or tendrils I guess they call them. Get my script liner, that's the long one, and there's some water in there. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of water to my greens. You can mix the two here. Okay, and really make it inky. That means the paint has to be 
very thin, not too thin, but so that it can move around. And I'm just going to take my brush, just tap the tip there, and oh, now I can make that a little bit darker. Let's just add a few of those. Just have to make sure you're just touching lightly and don't push down very hard because if you're just very light-handed with your with your brush your brush will act like a marker and it will give you nice little tendrils okay there you go a simple rose hope you enjoyed it you know what let me add one more thing right over here never done with this. Just adds a little bit right in here. You don't want it too dark, you don't want it too thick. It's just thinned out paint. And I'm just pulling right from the center right in here. Okay, there you go.